the Richmond County Sheriff's Office responded to reports of a car in a pond near New Savannah Road, but thankfully no body inside. The divers Adam Brown and Jeremy Siders made the discovery while they were filming for their YouTube channel, Wrecked and Recovered. And it's actually not their first time diving in Augusta. We caught up with the duo back in September, hearing how they turned a hobby into a mission to find closure for families with missing loved ones. It's what led them here. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Brown Adventures here. Today we're jumping right into the video. I'm in Augusta, Georgia, waiting on uh, Jeremy to meet up with me, but I'm actually doing some sonaring right now in this pond beside the road here. You can see this road goes right by the road, no guardrails, nothing. And uh, it's a spot that I've been wanting to check for a while in Augusta. So we're out here to see if we can find any vehicles and uh, it's right off the bat, it's deep enough. But let's jump right in, set the boat up and uh, start this video. All right, so pretty much straight out from here, I don't know, 50 feet. We're gonna shut it down for right now. Wait for Jeremy to get here. What did you find today? Found a couple cars. Man, a couple cars and a big old pond, huh? Yeah, there, I mean, there's this, it's straight out. There's one, the main one I'm concerned about is right here. There's something else upside down that I, I'm guessing is a lot older because the image was a lot harder to get which actually might mean it's newer but this one stood out like a sore thumb man well, so how's it go finders finders divers is that how it goes well i was gonna dive this one if you want to dive the other ones well you probably want to dive the other ones anyway different video nice. yeah another video <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge later but let's go look and see where we found this thing so yeah, I, I wasn't sure how deep the spot would be, yeah. but uh, you know, I started at the end, went all the way down. This car, this car about like 50 feet out, straight from here. Um, That's gonna be one of those. Screamed on the sonar. It's only like 10, 15 feet. So. So what are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna get in and just go down, and I'm gonna start getting well, I, the comms. <laughs> I, it's a little far out there. It's not right here, so I might put a magnet on the back of the boat and drag it out, and then just pull it off once we get about there. I think we'll be able to hit it. That's a new, that's something new. Man. Scan this one more time. All right, so we're just gonna get an image of this thing. It should be straight out from this point. From right, right where we're at. You'll see. You'll know it when you see it. Will I? It's not a garment. I don't really know what I'm looking at. <laughs> e -hee. Yeah, it floated a little bit. I'm not aware of any current missing people, at least none that we've been sent. This could be an accident. More than likely stolen and dumped, but it's kind of... Well, there's that one. There's that one, yeah. Like he's not even... Well, he's... He, it's not like it's a missing person, but they know he's dead. They just would... You know, like, his, never, his body was never found. The body and vehicle. Yeah, but dude gone. was convicted of it because there's overwhelming evidence that yeah. he uh, murdered him, so... But if we could find... I mean, that one up there looks older. That one's weird. I don't know. You never know. That's why you have to check all these. Oh. Yep. So we'll come back to this one. Let's go look at this other, oh. other anomaly. How far down? How far down is that? It's, where that, it's where that black bucket is up here. Was that your marking? No, it was right there. Convenient. But there's a car part I found. That's a mess, whatever it is. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Pretty sure it's a vehicle. It's close. This one's closer to the edge. Right there. Yeah, that's not bad. Pretty sure it's a car. I would guess it's old. So you're gonna try to mark the other car with a magnet using the sonar boat. Yeah. That should be interesting. This will be this will be interesting. What's what I'm, I don't know. You can't really drag it. I don't think your boat's that strong enough to drag I think anything. It'll, I think it'll heavy, carry it. The magnet's gonna be on the boat. That's the heavier part, and it'll just pull it off the boat. All right, so we haven't done it this way before, but Ooh, Nazi got this thing. <laughs> yeah, it might not be the wait, this room might not be long enough, but I'm gonna set the magnet on the back of the boat, and uh, we're gonna drag it off above the car, and I'll just. Pull the rope and hopefully hit the car. Worst case, I'll just swim out there. That just kind of suck. Ah, uh, you're good. Because it's so easy to lose direction, sense of direction. No, no, no. I, can, I don't worry about that. I can listen to you yelling and stuff. Hey, you hey. I got one knot out. 
I wouldn't worry about it. What is this? There's no shade right now. There's no way this can go wrong, all right? No, this is 100% the best idea I've ever seen you have. I don't know if that's gonna reach that. I'm gonna get that other rope. Might not. We'll give it a college try. You got it? Worst nag. All right, sweet. That only took three or four tries. Well, on the worst. Could have been worse. All right, now I'm gonna gear up and dive this mystery. So I should still have a fresh tank on here. Last time. All right, yeah, we're good on that. My dry suit, uh, See the next seal ripped. So unfortunately, unless Jeremy wants to dive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We already discussed this, all right. <laughs> I love to dive. I'm gonna have to wear my, uh, wear, wear a wetsuit. I mean, uh, it's 100 degrees out here, but I think, I think a wetsuit's probably a smart choice. It might be. We're gonna make this quick though, because we got, this wasn't our planned car to dive. And there's still another one out here. We're planning on going to the river next. That'll be another video, but let's, let's check this out real quick. And uh, I do want to get call the police and get them to pull this out because I don't think this is one that we could ha we could, but there's so many trucks coming through here. We need a, a police officer to watch the road and a tow, a tow truck's gonna block the road, so that should be fun. But let's drive this thing, check it out, go from there. All right, just got out here in the water in my gear, I'm using the wetsuit today, which I haven't used in a long time. Uh, this one was actually donated by a viewer, which is really cool because it's uh, my size. I'm a pretty good big guy, so it's. It's hard to find these sometimes, but uh, the water's kind of warm. Not gonna lie, the bottom feels like it's like clay. So I'm gonna try not to uh, touch that too much. We'll go out here and uh, check this car out. All right, man. Good to go. Loud and clear. Right, let's get out here and drop down on this vehicle. Like 10 feet down to 10, 15. Should be on that. There might be Gator. Nah, you'll be alright. Probably not here, but we've seen it on the river. Yup. So, alright, let's go. Better use that sense of touch. Did you get the model? And there is a tag. Stand by for the model. The tag is VS and Polly TK 5179. Did you get the magnet unsnagged so we can drag it in? Yeah, the water is probably like 90 degrees, so.
Georgia plate. No, it's uh, I, I, is it all covered in swampy stuff? It's not really, no, dude. It hasn't been in there that long, I don't think. The the window, the driver's window is gone. It, I mean, it's upside down, so I couldn't really feel, couldn't really get in there. But the uh, it's black, I think. It's dark color. Hmm. Cadenza. Yeah, I think it's one of their SUVs. So, I mean, we can search that. Definitely report that. Having the plate, yeah. having the plate's big. This other one down here is, I could probably just walk out to it. We kind of had it marked, right? Yeah. I want to leave I this. exactly, if that cup ain't moved, that's exactly where it's at. I want to leave that here just in case. Woo! I ain't going to be able to get out of this. All right, right there. Roger. If you guys can hear that from the traffic but he said that his uh it's pretty much gone like it's very rusty probably been down there a long time see if you can find anything hubcaps front grill headlights something not headlights but something we can identify with maybe the tail lights Yes, man. I don't know what this thing is. It's weird looking. Ain't much left of it. Yeah, look, you see the pieces floating. <laughs> Whatever you're doing down there. Dude. That's been in there a long time. It's kind of sketchy. I don't know. I mean, that looks like a. I would assume a roof, a manual sunroof. Strange. Thing was, I mean, you can kind of tell it was all like this. Why does it have tubes going in here, though? That's what I don't understand. There's some writing. What do you think this thing is, man? Definitely a roof rack, right? I don't know if it's a roof rack, but I think it's a roof. You know, the underside. Oh, underneath. Yeah, you know, that was oh, the glass. Would, oh, yeah, yeah, reach yeah, up yeah. And slide that back. So it's old school. It's not mechanical. I don't think. Why does it have these tubes coming off of it though? If it is mechanical, I don't know. That's always throwing me off. 
Uh, man. Well, let's it's get back down there and call the cops. So angry. What do you say? A bit by fire ant. Yeah, he'll be fine. Somebody talking. Augusta Dispatch, Austin, how can I help you? Yes, I'm wondering if you could send a uh, police officer my direction. Okay, what do you have going on? We, uh, well, I mean, pretty much in a nutshell, we found a vehicle underwater, and we wanted to report it and get you guys the tag number so you could see if it's, if it's linked to any crimes or anything like that. All right, Jeremy just got off the phone with the police and they should be coming our way shortly. I mean, last time we were in the area and we found a vehicle, it was it's kind of a big police presence. We'll see how they respond to this one. I mean, BTK 5179, looks like 17, 2017 October. I don't know, not de definitely not too, too old of a vehicle, a Kia Cadenza, but I've, I'm not really uh, sure. I couldn't get a great look at this thing, but it, it was not as rusty as that second one, so. We'll see if it's stolen or whatnot. I, I'm guessing no one's inside of it, but like I said, I couldn't confirm. So hopefully we can get a wrecker out here to pull this thing out. How's it going? Very good. What's your find? I don't know for sure. It's upside down. It's, it's straight out. Um, it's a Kia Cadenza. I think it's like an SUV. I was very clear on dispatch. It wasn't fresh. Like it wasn't a fresh car accident or nothing. Yeah. I, uh, we did. We got it as a water rescue, so we had no idea. What oh, we okay. I got yeah, you. Yeah, we didn't It happened that. before, and I was like, man, I, I didn't want anybody to think it's like, you know, somebody's in the car. I don't know if there is, but it's been down there a few years. Yeah, yeah that'll do the job. And here's all the oil coming up. You can see right there. There she comes. Wow. Any pond or body of water beside the road without a guardrail like this one uh, is definitely suspicious. His suspicions were right. You never know what you're going to find coming out here and there's so many cars, there's so much stuff to find. You name it, chances are this duo has found it. We have the tools to do it so and the time and, and we've been blessed to be able to make this our full-time job. And what they find, no one ever thinks to look for. We have a wide arsenal to be able to help people and actually be safe about it. They do it for free. Sometimes we get results um, sometimes we just find empty stolen cars or dumped insurance fraud, whatever the case is. Uh, but it's good to clean them out regardless. You know. No matter the outcome, the end result is one everyone benefits from.